The kitting feature in Say Jackpack ERP allows you to assemble a collection of items and sell them through order entry as a single master item. Often kits are sold at a promotional price. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create and use kits. Before we get started, there are some important characteristics of kits that need to be mentioned. First, kits do not have build costs, and second, a kit is not treated as a stocked item, only the component parts are stocked. If you need the master item to be a stocked item, then you should consider using bills of material in Sage Jackpack. So now let's jump in and take a look. There are three steps to creating a kit. First, you add the kitting item master record. Then you add the component items. And lastly, you specify the contents of the kitting item. So let's start by adding the kitting item master record. To do this, we'll go to Inventory Control, I see items and price lists, and open the item master form. For this example, let's suppose that we're a business that sells office and school supplies, and we're going to create a back to school student special that includes a binder, pencil case, and a ruler. So for an item number, we'll enter back to school, and for description, student binder, pencil case, and ruler set. And let's select the sample data sets long form item structure code and the accessories category. And importantly, kitting items must use the user specified cost. And for the default price list, we'll choose retail. Now remember that we said kits can't be stock items, so we'll uncheck this to make it a non stock item. And importantly, we'll select kitting item. And moving to the units tab, we'll select each and tab over and hit the space bar on our keyboard to toggle the stocking unit of measure to yes. And now we'll click add and close the form. Next, we'll add the kitting item to a price list by opening the item pricing form. And using the finder, we'll locate the item by item number contains and we'll enter back as in back to school and we'll select the item. Now we'll click new to set up the pricing. And let's select the retail price list and give it a base price of $12.95 and now we'll add the pricing and close the form. And that completes step one. Step two is to create inventory records for the component items that make up the kit. But to save time, We've already added these component items to our inventory system. So now we'll jump to step three, adding the components to the kit. To do this, we'll open the kitting items form. We'll select the kitting item by hitting the finder on the item number field. Here you'll find only items that you designated as kit items when you added them to inventory as we did in step one. And we'll select the back to school item. The kitting number allows us to create more than one version of the kit. So if we want to offer the kit with a choice of a red or blue notebook, then we would enter blue or red in the kit number field. So let's enter blue and hit the go button. If you're going to have multiple kit numbers, then it's a good idea to differentiate the difference in your description, as we've done here by including the notebook color. Now we'll drop down to the grid and add the component items. We'll use the finder to locate the first item, the blue notebook, and we'll leave the default quantity of one and hit insert to move to the next line. And once again, we'll use the finder to add the pencil case and we'll hit the insert key for the next line and we'll hit the finder to add the ruler. And now we'll add the components. Now let's create the red notebook version of the kit by entering red as the kitting number and then we'll hit the go button. And let's edit the description by changing the notebook to red. And now we'll drop down to the grid and use the finder to add the red notebook and hit insert and we'll go back to the finder and add the pencil case. And now the last item, we'll add the ruler. And finally, we'll click Add and close the form. Now let's put this into action by creating an order that includes the back to school bundle kit. We'll go to Order Entry, 
OE transactions and open the order entry form. We'll enter customer number 1200 and drop down to the grid to add the item and let's use the finder to add the back to school bundle and we'll type back as in back to school and make our selection. Our customer wants the red notebook version which we'll select by hitting the finder in the kit field and selecting red. You may have noticed that the components button which is normally grayed out becomes active when you've entered a kitted item to an order. Clicking this button will show you all of the components and their inventory status. Let's close the component screen and now we'll go ahead and post the order. We'll click yes to print the order confirmation and the print dialog window opens. Notice that we have the option to print the order confirmation with or without the component items listed. Let's first print the confirmation without the components. And here it is without the components listing just the master kit item. Let's close this and now we'll select print kit component items and hit print. And now we can see the kit along with all of its component items. So to recap, use the kitting feature in Sage Pack when you need to assemble a collection of items and sell them through order entry as a single master item. This can be an order entry time saver when you're selling promotional product bundles. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in Sage Pack ERP. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.